Good morning, and welcome to the 22nd annual Ontario Police Memorial Foundation's Ceremony of Remembrance. Thank you for joining us. As president of the OPMF, I'd like to share a few words about today's unique ceremony. Despite best laid plans, over several months for, from some very dedicated and passionate people, we have found ourselves once again falling victim to the COVID-19 pandemic. Even today's ceremony was forced to adapt as late as Friday evening in order to respect the rule of law and adhere to the stay at home order set out by the province of Ontario. Thank you to Toronto Police Piper Hector McDonald, Brenda Orr, retired OPP officer and widow of honored PC Dave Mouncey. Thank you to Kevin Van Schubert, Toronto Police Service, and Scott Mills, our media specialist, who are prepared to dedicate their time to the ceremony today. Prior to the pandemic, we gathered in impressive numbers to stand side by side and shoulder to shoulder for our fallen comrades with timeless traditions of honor and respect. Last year, due to the pandemic, we were unable to gather, so we decided to meet. This year, we are unable to meet, and so we must do our very best to represent here at Queen's Park. With your permission, I have called upon my family to assist me in representing all of you who are restricted from gathering here today for this solemn yet important occasion. Today, we are here to acknowledge, remember, and honor the 266 plus men and women who have paid the ultimate price for their dedicated and selfless service to their community. Not only do we recognize the sacrifice of these officers, but we also appreciate and support the families, the families of the fallen who continue to live with that sacrifice each and every day. I would also like to acknowledge that although we are here to honor those killed in the line of duty, there are those among our profession who suffer and lose their battles because of the line of duty. Today, they too are in our hearts. With a full regimental parade and honors, including dignitaries and honored guests, we would be adding names to the honor roll. This year, the OPMF board made the difficult decision to forego adding names to the wall until such time we can offer a ceremony befitting a member of our Blue family. Tragedy struck this very year as we lost another brother in the line of duty. Provincial Constable Mark Hoving of the Ontario Provincial Police laid down his life in service to his community. I will borrow the words of Sergeant Kevin Van Schubert, a friend of the Hoving family, who's told me, Mark was a guy we all looked up to. Growing up, we all wanted to be just like him. We are grateful for Mark's dedication to his profession and offer our most sincere condolences to Leanne and his family. PC Hoving will be formally honored with his name etched on the wall of remembrance once we are permitted to gather in, in person and properly support the Hoving family. As is tradition, we will now have the laying of the wreaths assisted by Kingsley and Ellis Tomlinson and Brenna Paul. On behalf of Her Honorable Elizabeth Dowdswell, Lieutenant Governor of Ontario and the people of Ontario. On behalf 
of Ontario Premier, the Honourable Doug Ford, and the Government of Ontario. On behalf of the Police Services of Ontario and the Royal Canadian Mounted Police of Ontario. On behalf of the police officers of the United States of America. And finally, on behalf of the families of the fallen officers of Ontario. Let us now bow our heads for a moment of silence. Thank you. I would like to conclude by thanking all of the police services and associations from across the province who have undertaken their own ceremonies of remembrance and for those organized groups of runners and cyclists who continue to find new and unique ways to respect and remember. This concludes the 22nd Annual Ceremony of Remembrance. Please continue to broadcast your own messages of support on social media platforms using the hashtag Heroes in Life. They have not died in vain. We will remember them. Heroes in Life, not death.